One of the things that I've been most surprised at has been the international fame of this exhibition. I mean, I've, I've been in museums since 1968, and I've never seen a phenomenon like this. If you'd asked this women, these women, are you artists? Until recently, they would have said no. We're just doing this because it comes naturally. So our definitions of artists and outsider artists and so on are all thrown into question. These quilts are important as contemporary art for several reasons. Um, the first being that they represent a tradition that has been passed on for a number of generations in a very small area in America, uh, Gee's Bend, Alabama. Um, the quilts reflect the history of that area and of this country in their making. And it asks all of us um, about genius, you know, and where does it reside? This project is important to me personally as an African-American woman. People are moved, they cry, they want to know the women. He ain't thought about no artist for quilts, but it came to be so. And I know it's so, cause I done see them on the wall in New Zealand. <laughs> I fell in love with the art. It's all leftover things that have been discarded by others, the way they, the artists, have been discarded by society. And they take these discarded pieces and give them new and transcendent life. When they say, well, we're gonna see our quilt, I would expect them to see the new quilt. But when I walked in and saw all these old quilts, it brought back the, uh, the memory of the hard time uh, brought back the uh, struggle, uh, the pain, uh, the night that I was awake from being hungry. Uh, it brought all that back. And uh, I was thankful that I had the opportunity to go and see uh, all this history from G's being. And knowing that uh, I was part of it, I was part of it. Uh, and I was walking with the peoples that had to quit hanging in the museum. Oh, it, 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 it was awesome. Bill Wilm, he is telling us it was artwork. I ain't know nothing about the man that thing and look wolf and you talking about art? <laughs> he told me, yeah. I never thought I would get honored and praised by the quilt. Yeah, 10 or 12, 15 years ago, I didn't think this would happen. We were selling quilts, but we didn't think this would happen. Until Bill came along, he told us that we had artwork, and I didn't know what artwork was. He said, y'all have all this beautiful artwork hidden on y'all mattress and thing. He's just going to the mattress and trying to pull out the mattress, old quilts we have up under there. He said, this is fine artwork. I said, artwork? He said, yeah, this is artwork. As many women have said, and I'm sure they've said it to you, they never realized that the world would respect them as human beings, would respect what they did as being important, and respect them, would respect their culture, respect their community. And I'll tell you too, I thought he was crazy buying all them old quilts. <laughs> so what's wrong with this man? <laughs> These quilts ain't no good for nothing. But when you don't know, just stand back and look and wait and see what it will bring. And I just shut up and waited at, at see and see now what the Lord done done for G's being with.